What's happening guys? Welcome to the Rebel Workshop and a Happy New Year! Now for you I've got to apologise for the lack of content recently, especially just before Christmas. To be honest, I wasn't really feeling up to it. So to get me back into the swing of things, I thought I'd do something simple and easy to do. What? So I thought a simple project would be to Star Warsify that word. My PlayStation VR headset. Now I'm not planning on doing the whole thing. There is a section around the front that'll be the easiest bit to paint. The rest of it will stay as it is. But I thought it's an easy thing to get into and I will make it go with the room. Same kind of colour schemes. Same kind of motifs. So, yeah. Let's do this. So here is the VR headset, as you can see, I've already got some Imperial stickers on it, but these will be coming off. I just had these and I thought about putting them on. But, that should be a quick simple project. And I'm literally just going to be doing this black bit at the front, everything else will stay exactly the same. So yeah, I'll just have to mask things up, definitely need to mask this up because it's one of the light sensors. So first thing off, take these stickers off, give it a good clean, then mask it up. So that's it all <coughs> masked up and ready for the primer. And that's it primed. I'll just use the hairdryer to dry it a wee bit quicker. Then on to the next coat. Now I'm probably going to do my usual chipped paint look. But instead of using the silver spray paint underneath the top coat, I think I'm just going to use my Sharpie and use it that way. So that's the next step done. It's a bit hard to see the colour of it, but there's my usual grey with some flecks of black through it as well. I'll just leave this to dry. Then on to some stencils. And that's it all masked up for the stripe and the rebel symbol. Now to give it a bit of a ready orange coat. Yeah. I've also put on some masking fluid just for a chipped effect on the red stripe. That'll look good once it's all demasked. But first, let's go on to the red paint. And just like that, that's orange red paint done. So I'm just going to take the masking off for the stripe and the rebel symbol and see how it looks. That's not too bad so far. Too bad. So we're gonna keep the rest of this masking on until it's weathered and we give it a clear coat. Yeah, quite happy with that so far. It definitely goes with the room, even though it might not actually be in the room. So what I'm gonna do next. Silver Sharpie time to do some paint chipping. 
and we'll leave it all to dry. So I'm not going to go too bad, too much with this. I'm just going lightly. So far, a couple of wee bits. That looks good. The one thing I have learned with this technique, this is just me, and it's best to have quite a loose hand, and even if you're shaking just a wee bit, it does act, add to the jaggedness of the edge, so it looks more like chipped bits. Good. So we'll just leave this to dry properly. Get a wee clean down, a wee wipe down. Then it'll be time to weather. Yeah. The time for the weather wash. Because this is a very expensive electrical thing. I am not going to do my usual and just cover the whole thing in water down black paint. I'm just going to dab bits on and dab it across the place. Because I don't want to get any liquids inside, especially around this bit here, which is one of the front lights. And I'm worried in case the liquid just seeps into the cracks. I don't want to do that. And just like that, use the weather wash. So once again, it's all just as usual. It's just black acrylic, watered down, so it's quite runny. I'm just gonna, as I said, dab wee bits on, dab bits off, and just spread that about. Because I have no patience, I'm using hair dryer. Next layer. As always, if you think you've gone too far, a damn bit of kitchen roll will help bring it back. I think it's looking good. Okay. Maybe just adding a few, a few wee bits, paper towel, some paint on it. Looks good. We get to dry. Then I'll take start taking the masking tape off. Actually, no. I'll leave it to dry. Well, I won't leave it to dry. I'll use the hair dryer to dry it. Then I'll give it a wee quick clear coat, and that should be it done. Okay, time to unmask it.
There we go. Ooh, a wee bit over spray up here. Oh well. A wee bit of alcohol should just get that away. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. So there you go guys, I hope you like it. I think it's turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks. And it definitely goes with the rest of the decor in the Star Wars room. Although I don't actually have this set up in the Star Wars room. But still. I can't see anything, so I'm going to take this off. Oh, that's better. So guys, I hope that's inspired you to go and grab something of your own and Star Warsify it. I'm starting to turn this into a word. It really shouldn't be. But it just goes to show how easy it is to do things. Take something you've already got, slap some paint on it, and it's done. Now I do promise I will be back with some more Star Wars projects. A wee sneaky peek of a future thing. I'm not going to say what it is. Some people all know what it is. Now, I'm not promising this is the next project because this is quite a big one. But it will be in the near future. But as always guys, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like and hit that notification button and I'll see you next time on the Rebel Workshop.